Welcome back to CoachRob.com. In this video, I want to discuss and illustrate how to use a tennis ball to relieve stress in your shoulders and your upper back. That muscle right there is called upper trapezius and levator scapula. Right there is what we call C7 of the cervical spine, and those are the transverse processes of your spinal cord. Now what I want you to realize is when you put your hand behind your back, it exposes all the muscles that attach to the shoulder blade and come across and attach to the spine of your back. The first thing I want you to do is gently put your thumb into the edge of your scapula, press down and gently push away. You're going to address all those muscles that attach to the edge of your shoulder blade. Now what I want you to think about is there's your spine and all the muscles run from left to right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your fingertips, put it straight down into the tissue, and massage up and down. That's what we call cross friction massage. And that's because the muscles run left to right. I want you to massage up and down. After you get a little bit of direct pressure in there, I want you to gently take the scapula and push down and pull back towards you very slowly with no abrupt movement so that you don't hurt or pull any muscles. Now what I'm doing is taking and putting my fingers in and down with a little bit of tension to try to pull and relax that muscle. Now I want you to take a tennis ball and I want you to envision that you're going to paint the entire upper back and in between your shoulder blades. It's not about putting a lot of pressure down on the ball. If the client wants more pressure they can push back against the ball but you want to keep the tension down on the ball very gentle. Now notice that I'm taking the ball between her spine and along the edge of her shoulder blade. And what I'm doing right here is I'm just trying to cross friction massage against the rhomboids and all those muscles that attach to the edge of your shoulder blade. Now as I'm doing this I'm having her focus on her breathing very nice and relaxed deep breathing. Now to deepen it I'll take and I'll work the scapula out of the way, take the tennis ball and now I'm going to specifically work those rhomboids that attach and the reason why we keep working those is these are the muscles that are responsible for pulling your shoulder blades back. So they get a lot of work, especially if you do a lot of exercise that involves the front of your body, such as swimming and things such as that. If you have any questions about this or any of our videos, please visit me at CoachRob.com.